Hi. Hey guys. <laughs> Hi. What's up, friends? Hello, this and is Julia. Enemies. All of them. Katie. Especially enemies. This is Mary Beth. <laughs> and this is She's Good. Uh, the three of us collectively are that. Um, she's good. She is good. She's good. And she's good. And you know what? We hope that that's what you say about us. We hope that you go, oh, oh, Julia, Katie, Mary Beth. She's good. She's good. She's good. Because we are one person. We are one, one body, person. three heads. <laughs> yeah. Six breasts. She's good. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Too far. Uh, actually, weirdly, eight knees. <laughs> that is strange. Whoa, yeah. So and I'm not going to tell you who has the extra knees. It's a yeah. secret. One yeah, it's only one four. person. It's not two yeah. people. It's yeah. Like- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's only one person. Oh. And it is me. No, you weren't supposed to tell them. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. I'm you, sorry. Yeah, Cat's out of the away. bag. Julia's a camel. <laughs> oh, do they have many knees well they have four legs so i assume they have four knees oh <laughs> <laughs> no two of those I are guess elbows. two elbows yeah well then we all have four knees they're the same elbows and knees are the same thing in my opinion totally. coming from somebody with a degree in biomedical engineering with a focus on musculoskeletal biomechanics same thing <laughs> coming from someone with a degree in political science i agree <laughs> Mary Beth is wrong. <laughs> Heck, I agree. Let's not forget, I don't use that degree. So, well, I think you could. I think everybody I, uses their degree in some way, even if it's just in to some um, degree. You might say. Oh, I love. I really love that, Mary Thank Beth. You. With the dimes, am I right? Mary Thank Beth is swishing dimes. all day. I <laughs> practice that. I've been Taylor waiting for that degree, Joe. <laughs> Taylor Swish. Um, okay. should we jump into the get sports? Into sports? I love that. I love that idea. As we are a sports podcast, uh, the intent is to talk about sports. Some of us know about sports. Some of us, of us don't. know less about sports. <laughs> <laughs> but we're learning. But we all did know that the French Open, uh, which is tennis, did happen recently. And it's or cold. still is happening. And it's, it's I think happening. it's still happening. And it's probably still cold. I don't know what the temperature is in France these days, but too cold for tennis, according to yeah. that one lady. What it was, was like who 50s, was it? Right? I don't know. It, it's fifties right now outside, and it is chilly, so I don't blame her. It's but here's cold. my question. So, okay, it, they were saying it's like particularly bad for tennis players, or it like affects them more than other sports. Why is that? Which is interesting. I don't know. If I were to play tennis, I, think tennis, I feel like I'd be hot all the time because they do a lot of yeah. physical activity i think it's because like if you get hit by a ball it really hurts <laughs> so it does that does hurt more yeah it, it hurts more in but... soccer too that's but I guess true soccer balls but are i really think going like 120 miles per hour there you go wait do you really think that's it i thought it was like, i think no, it's just I because genuinely... they're they can't stay warm <laughs> it I cannot be it they sweat know. like assholes in the any other time they maybe it has something to do with like athlete. the court conditions because i know the french opens played on like mm, clay, clay and not it could mess up the clay what's the other option that is would the make one sense. lady was mad oh azarenka uh, she was mad but also i think she, it was also raining too was it not yes okay. it very or much was rain raining delay? because they had to like leave the court because it was like pouring yeah. well Speaking of, I have a few um, photos for today's episode. If you're listening, so sorry, we'll do a um, uh, image description. But it did crack me up because like Azarenka was like playing in like a windbreaker, (laughs) as you can see, and she had leggings on. I guess you can't really see the bottom, but she had leggings on the bottom, and it. She was she in particular almost didn't play. She was like, "I, it's too cold. I'm not gonna do it." That's amazing. That's a flex. Yeah. I'm back. Was it me or was it you guys that froze? It's me. I th- it was you. You were definitely frozen to me. Okay, sorry. You guys were frozen to me, so I was confused. Ah. Oh, okay. Well, definitely also Victoria Azarenka was frozen. And um, to warm up, yes, this her her style is the best to me. She's got this like Nike um, windbreaker on that looks like it is from 88. And it's very like, cool. Love it. Love hot it. Pink shorts that I think she's worn before. And then she had black leggings on underneath that. It's worth saying that the jacket doesn't match the shorts. 
<laughs> Wait, let me see it again. That's, You're right. <laughs> that's awesome. Her shorts match it. her uh, wristbands. wristbands. Cause she was planning on wearing that. I guarantee she was not planning I mean, I on gar- wearing that <laughs> jacket. Mary Beth. Mar Beth is frozen. Mar Beth. Mar Beth is frozen. <laughs> Okay, we're 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 back and now and and Mary Beth is also back. Sorry, I don't know where we left off, but we're just we're back. Well, let's uh, talk I about. Think we were just um, saying the fact that Serena Williams opted out of the French Open with an Achilles injury. Yeah, yeah, which so, she got during the U.S. Open. Did you know that was the injury? Yeah. Remember, Serena Serena got hurt. Yeah, it was uh, during. We saw and it that's happen. The, yeah, that's the match that she then. Because they kept Lost. zooming in on her shoes, which were cool. Yeah, and then she had to have, like, a medical timeout. Yeah. Um, and that was the injury, and then it just wasn't enough time in between that and the French Open to recover, so. Yeah, she was basically yeah. saying, yeah. What a, why would I push this? Yeah. yeah. It's okay. So we, we support her decision, and we yeah. wish her well, and we love her to death, and I die for her. And even if we didn't support her decision, doesn't no, matter. Would. She can do what <laughs> she wants. Look, we don't support her decision. <laughs> and this will impact her life. <laughs> no, we, we definitely Serena's do. Serena's like, shut up. Um, no, I think yeah, she could take, spend care, time of your, with Olympia. take care of your, your bod. Yeah, exactly. That's all we want to happen. In, in the time of pandemic, all we want it to happen is for people to take care of their bods. Yes, please be healthy. Totally, totally. Whatever that means to you. Um, and, okay, Mary Beth, do you want to give us a... Um, an update on Athletes Unlimited that I think you were the only one of us that was able to was following. Yeah. So as we talked about in the, the last pod, uh, it was ending as we recorded. Uh, so we finished yeah. just in time for me to catch the award ceremony, which first I'll tell you who won and then I'll tell you my favorite part of the award ceremony. I'm so excited. Let me set the scene. They were in Chicago. They were all right. very cold and seemed upset to have to stay afterwards for the award ceremony. Oh. <laughs> That's a sport that you right. get cold in. Right. Yeah, because you Lots just like, standing around. stand if you're mm-hmm. not if you're not right. running. Um, so <laughs> um, the winner, well, let's go backwards. Let's see. Fourth place, Erica Piancastelli, who was the person that I believe plays for the Italian national team. Uh, yeah, that's her fourth. mom. Was yes. that the one whose mom? Yes. And so cool. I think, I think that's, I, I mean, I don't know her, but I, I'm pretty sure I read that that's why she chose to play I don't know for where it. I would. She's real good. Anyway. She came in fourth okay. place. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, then third place, Victoria Hayward, also good. Second place, Jesse Warren, also good. First place, our girl, Kat Osterman. Totally. Champion. Yes. Champion. She uh, was expected to win, right? She, sort of? Well, she she was at one point ahead by several hundred points. I don't remember how how, how much she won by, but um, she did. She's good. She's good. <laughs> According she to good. me and our podcast, she's, she's good. She's good. And she's but, the one we've talked about before <laughs> with the announcers won't yeah. stop talking about, and now I won't stop talking about the fact that she's 37. She's 37. They're obsessed with her age, but she's great but she's because so no 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 she's good she's good <laughs> she's, she's good, good. Right. Uh, <laughs> but like she's got all this extra experience she's she's trying to to go back for the olympics next year so she um, wants yeah. to get that gold baby but here's right what you guys so. here's what right you guys need to so. know after they gave out the awards they right. showed this lady just this just your average woman writing in the biggest book i've ever seen in my life <laughs> <laughs> called like, called the book of unlimited they said <laughs> i'm pretty sure that's what they called it then it looked like it was, was like straight up sanderson's sister's hocus pocus book <laughs> like <laughs> it was like this thing it was so big and they that's zoomed how they in. keep the records <laughs> yeah they zoomed in and it just said like 2020 season and she was just like r- sitting there writing cat osterman in calligraphy and i am so obsessed with the book of unlimited so now cat oh, osterman wow. is in this book and is apparently supposed to travel to like all of the different like every season so i would assume both softball and volleyball they get whoever wins gets their name in this gigantic book from this lady writing i hope it's the same lady until the end of time that writes their name in calligraphy into the book she's their don pardo (laughs) guys 
Yeah. Do we think he's that- but now it's not him anymore because I think he's dead. He did die. Well, yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. It was his yeah. thing until he died. Well, do we think that this is a cult? And that <laughs> I don't she know, signed but- her life away. Gad Asterman lives in that no, book. Her forever. name is in there. It's Here's my question: book. If it's that big, how long has freaking Athletes <laughs> Unlimited been around? My first thought 450 was like 150 <laughs> years. It was, well, that's what's funny is it's on the fr- very first page, and so there's this many pages <laughs> below it. I saw it and I was like, "Ooh, they got high hopes for this league." Good <laughs> yeah. for that. Same high, baby. Yeah. Wait, um, that's so also, funny. Yeah. They were only at the top because <laughs> it's the first thing they've ever done. Uh, also, I learned that their volleyball league starts in February. Stop. So. Stop. It's the first thing Athletes Unlimited has ever done? I think so. In it's my new. mind, it has been a season slash organization that has been around for at mm. least a few years. I think it's new. No. Unless wow. they have other sports, no. I think it's new. <laughs> I love <laughs> this, and it makes me even more happy that this lady is employed. Yeah. And she's still got it's her beautiful. calligraphy job even during the pandemic so i'm happy so for cute. her she works although full time. all the weddings canceled so her she had, she had the free time she didn't have to do any invitations i think it's unlimited pays a full-time calligrapher yeah. papyrus uh, hasn't been really giving her a lot of business <laughs> oh my god that's oh, so funny. thank you for that anyway update. yeah that was that's my that main takeaway of sports from the last weeks or so since we've spoken is the book of unlimited did everyone get out of the negative points i'm not sure i think that the, most of the people that were in negatives were pitchers and it's right. just because when things went poorly for them but yeah i don't know um speaking of like old players uh cat osterman um <laughs> super of old people no i just mean because yep. There's like this obsession with age mm-hmm. in these sports. Transition. And I support it. Um, Julia, can you talk a little bit about the oldest WNBA <laughs> player to play in the game who, come to find out, is not Sue Bird? It's not Sue Bird. No matter how much shook. they talk about her being 39, she's not the oldest woman to play in the uh, WNBA. The oldest woman to play in the WNBA, this pleases me to no end, is Nancy Lieberman Klein. And if that name doesn't bring up uh, anything for you, no worries. But she played um, for the shock. Uh, She played not for the shock in her regular career, but she she was signed for a seven-day contract when she was 50 years old. A seven-day contract to play like one game for the shock when they had like a bunch of injuries and people sitting out and stuff. <laughs> Bill Ambier signed her to a seven day contract and he claimed it wasn't a gimmick. He said, this is not a gimmick. And we are really, I, it'll be really good for the league and really good for the team. People want to see her out there, which That's he's a not lying. That's what a gimmick is though, isn't it? If it's not like he's choosing her because she's the best for the team, but like this is really good for the league and really good for people wanting to watch her isn't that I just what a gimmick don't know that is anybody wanted to see her play <laughs> wait i don't know about that i feel like there was a lot of they showed some people in the stands and they were like actually that was her son <laughs> 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 it is very funny if you get the chance just google nancy lieberman klein seven day contract oh. because the videos i watched through everything that there was and it really is so funny I also and the thing did. is I mean, if you're wondering, she, she was good. She probably still is good. And the thing is like, she, you know, had been keeping in shape. She'd been like playing pickup and playing, you know, like uh, since she retired and she had just done the like, uh, all stars, like the all stars every year have like a challenge, like a competition or whatever. And they run drills and they have like little contests and stuff. And so she participated in that. And she like her, her like dribbling times, uh, like, like ball, like in the ball handling competitions were like faster than everybody except for like two people of like current players. Active. Yeah. And yeah. Nice. Yeah. And so and Bill can, Ambier was there, yeah. and he afterwards, I guess, he goes, he was like, hey. she's good. Yeah. Yeah, he literally <laughs> was like, impressive stuff out there. And they knew <laughs> and each other. And we wonder so. why the Detroit Shock left Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> but and honestly, I remember her, I remember that name vividly from the WNBA. I need That's you to know that really I don't, because as you know, I only 
perhaps went to the one game maybe 1999 possibly in in the in the 99 um i don't know who this woman is and it, when you talk about her i picture pam the announcer oh oh my god <laughs> she actually actual she look like her? Yes. yes also, yes. also same hair picture, pic- like yes like the 50s same person something hair yep. you know you know that cut do you know who yep. mary carillo is who also no. has the same hair She's no, the Olymp- so she's like the Olympic commentator. I'm no, I don't obsessed know with Mary Carrillo and have the name I know, but life. I can't picture her. Okay, you guys look into Mary Carrillo. Okay, I'm obsessed I'm with we're her. doing this live on air. Google her now, Mary Carrillo. I also picture her and I make to me she and Pam are the same person. Oh, What's Pam's okay. last name? Pam is I don't know what her last name is, but sorry, Pam. For, for the listeners, she does uh <laughs> commentating on WNBA games a lot of times with LaChina. And if you have listened to previous episodes, you know that Pam and LaChina had beef. Had well, beef, we probably created currently. it. Yeah, but like, yeah they're, they're on really good terms. They're, they bought each other a coat or something. I don't know. Yes, Pam yeah. gave LaChina her coat. Yeah. I love this story so much. Anyway, yeah, well, she bought like her a WNBA. Okay, oh. she's a little goofier than this lady. Mary Carilla. Nancy Lib- Nancy, the, oh, the oh, oh, funny part <laughs> of it. Okay, so th- she's got this 50-year-old mom haircut with like the layers and she doesn't uh-huh. she didn't wear it up you know she shoulder legs and layers so okay. she just didn't she didn't wear it up during the game she's got these like it was like she had come, shorts it was like she had come to the game in her normal clothes and just <laughs> put on a basketball uniform like she was an like a, a, a audience member is not the right word <laughs> Fan. Audience member, like she was a yeah. fan like a she ticket. was a fan in the stands <laughs> and a ticket holding orchestra seat yeah like she had waltzed in and they were like hey you're a fan why don't you put this uniform outfit on and come on down and play some b-ball and she was like this little contest for any fan who like wanted to come out and play with a shock i need you guys to know this is a movie i would watch (laughs) honestly literally write Write it up mary beth let's do this (gasps) tweet me cast pam oh my freaking god I think she did wear a sweatband though. So, you know, so. oh my this, god, that I, was really funny. I feel funny, like she though. has the exact look that I would have if I played basketball. <laughs> that, it's yeah. so funny. That's true. Same. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the thing is, you guys, funny. I can't stress enough that she wasn't bad per se. It was just right. Very but it was funny. Just she like... is good, and she had like two assists, zero points. Actually, wait. Yeah, zero points. She may have taken a free throw. <laughs> She may have taken free throws. Someone fouled her. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Her. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. No, Somebody she definitely fouled someone she, else. <laughs> she, she had one. She had one turnover. If you're someone just knocking her to the ground. <laughs> I mean, she's str- she was still strong. She's good. She is good. I'm sorry to make fun of her, but I don't have any it's idea funny. who she is. So you're in my mind, fun it's of her, very but it's funny. funny. We need to make sure that we are not being ageist. It is just funny that he literally signed Nancy Lieberman Klein for one game. <laughs> and she was like, like, yeah. It's just something oh, I imagine Bill Lambier thinking like, this is a great idea. <laughs> yeah, <he probably laughs> I don't know. know. His judgment is questionable. You no, know, I, I am all my dad about I don't know why you're so anti because I'm sure I'm, I'm coming Lieberman? around, but there's Bill something Lambier, about- sorry. They're married. <laughs> he <took> there's something <laughs> about- and he took her name. <laughs> he took her the first of her both names. <laughs> she kept her client. He did not accept the client. That's her husband's her other husband's name. So he just took her. Oh my <laughs> He's God. married to both of them currently. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Line parentheses Lambier. <laughs> Maybe he was trying to like date her, and like that's how he hits on people. Uh, Wait, we should watch and see next season if he like gives someone a seven day contract. If she was single and she married him and changed her name to Nancy Lieberman Klein Lambier. I'm so obsessed with this. I'm sorry, Nancy, but I'm having fun. (laughs) Let us fucking have fun. It's quarantine. I'm sure you're lovely. I'm sure you're great. You're way better at basketball than I am, but I'm just having fun. Yeah, I, I do want to like kind of transition because I feel like yeah. I don't want to rag on Nance too, too much, much. Yeah, yeah. and I really okay. want to talk about like a really serious subject, which is um, Jewel Lloyd's mom on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad that's which, not an actual serious subject because I would start laughing anyway. 
I am I know genuinely... that I would have to ban you from this podcast. <laughs> I am so obsessed. It's Jewel Lloyd plays for the Seattle Storm. Her mom does these like hype videos that she tweets out on Twitter before their games. And she's rocking her Seattle Storm gear and she dances. And it's so fun. It's so, she's just like fun and funny and hyping. And she's she, in this final stretch, she has roped in some of the other Seattle Storm moms. <laughs> Have you guys seen? No, no I don't something even that like her. is yeah. Is this something that like is well known to follow her? Did you just stumble upon her? Yeah, shout out. Well, you know when people you... like you know when people like like tweets and then and they show up in your up. feed. Yeah, Katie, That's... are you a WNBA stan? Oh, Mary Beth, see, always wouldn't... the one to bring up the stands, <laughs> and then we'll always. <laughs> and you're be like, afraid hey, of them. Boom. I am afraid of them. I'll talk nicely of them. I just want to know if you're one of them. <laughs> I would oh, say shit. I would say I'm not a stan of anything. Um, I would say that her mom is really funny, though. Her What's name is Gwendolyn Lloyd. Wendelin I forget Lloyd. the handle, but she's roped in Stewie's mom. So there's a video of Stewie's mom. And the, these moms are, like, standing in front of, like, they've, like, put out, like, their daughter's jerseys behind them. Like, they have all this merch. They're, like, so into it, and it's so <laughs> awesome. Nice. So Stewie's mom was roped in, and so far Jordan Canada's mom as well. Are they like separate tweets, or are they yes, all in the same all location? Yes, they're all separate. No, they're definitely I not see. in the same location. I see. Quarantine, COVID. Oh, this is oh, not. I forgot uh, because the president I told just, me to. Yeah, I just think it's so sweet and so endearing, and I love it so much. I'm a, I'm happy for them that they're having a good time. Me too, because it's. We need little pieces of joy. And then right they can't now, go to the games. So like. Right. So show they got your spirit. Show your spirit. Show your I like spirit. to say. That's my motto. Yay. Show your spirit. That's me show cheering. Show your spirit. Show your spirit. I can't find it, but it. I will. I will. I'll send it. Shout it out at some point. Cool. I cool. probably can find it. Mm annoying but i love a mom i love a supportive mom and i think there were uh there's someone on someone's mom on chicago was also the same thing and like making videos uh -huh. um, it's her twitter handle is at gwen lloyd one thank you at gwen lloyd one everyone check her out mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gwen she's fun one one l no nope. right yeah just oh thank yeah. god okay Oh, and it's Jewel Lloyd's birthday, so... Today? Oh, yeah. Happy birthday. We've never right. met, but I hope you take my wishes seriously. <laughs> you won't hear this, Jewel. I don't I know you. you, but I will say that I'm a fan of you. You're good. You, she's she's good. so good. She's been she's playing good. so well, and we'll get into some WNBA, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Stats hey and shit. What else do we... Uh... Uh, so we wanted to mention, uh, we can, get, let's do, we can get into, um, so switching gears a little bit from WNBA into uh, some soccer news. It was sort of like announced that uh, the new coach of, um, is it uh, um, O.L. Rain? If no, yeah. uh, we're yeah. talking about the Lindsay Horan story, then yes. Yeah. So his name Fareed Benstiti? Benstiti, mm -hmm. whatever. I don't yeah, know anyone's that's, name. That's his name. It doesn't really matter, but basically the guy <laughs> has a history of like um, making like negative like body comments to his uh, players and like Ugh. requesting that they lose weight or benching them until they do lose weight and and like telling them that they're not like fit enough and stuff. And this specifically happened to Lindsay Horan, who played for him in a, at a different club. She is, um, uh, Port she's in, um, she's in Portland Thorns. Portland Thorns. <clears throat> yeah. Um, so when she went pro, she was like 18 and she signed with a club in France called PSG. And he was her coach there. So it was like the start of her professional career. And he told her like that she was too fat and that she needed to stop eating. I don't know. Like, really shitty and that was i think part of the reason why she came back to the u.s to play soccer oh i didn't know that was part of the reason i mean Me i would either. assume like yeah yeah i just i just know that yeah he said that she was not in shape and that and she 
couldn't play until she was basically and she was saying that she was like beating up like most of the team in drills and stuff and and um you know given the old nancy lieberman klein uh <laughs> times on <laughs> but seriously like her times were all good and she was like mm-hmm. absolutely fit it's just like the you know plays into that standard that like some of these i mean Luckily, he is an outlier in, like, the overt kind of um, diet culture weight stigma talk. Yeah. But it is pervasive. I mean, there's no way it's not in women's sports across the board. And, like, um, you hear announcers talk about it on, like, uh, you know, players that have, like, lost weight over the summer to really, like, get in shape and whatever. It just, like, creates this, like, very weird culture. And, um yeah. Yeah, I hate it, and it makes me nervous for all rain players that they mm-hmm. now have to like contend with this. Yeah, coach. So, yeah, it's I don't weird know. that he was hired, and, and and you know, like you said, hopefully, I hope that like the players, though, especially like where we're at now, especially with like what's going on in Utah, that everyone will like clap back at him and be like, no, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, <laughs> got it out. We're not that's not what we're about in this league but yep yeah you hope so you definitely hope so and i know Lindsay Horan like has spoken out about it and like thank right. god but it's hard not to internalize it it's right like- but it also though like i guess that i mean that's their job and that's the person that's essentially their boss and like how easy is it really to like it's not easy to yeah. come out and say that so especially if you're yeah. getting benched <clears throat> yeah it's just so it's yeah. just very very stupid if yeah. like ta- you know it, it just being in shape and having a body that looks a certain way are two separate things yeah and it just like that's the bottom line and like if you have like a fitness test that you need people to like pass or whatever before they're playing fine but, really like yeah, but when you add these additional these arbitrary yeah yeah. I feel like any single person that can run back and forth for 90 minutes and survive is in great shape. Like, you're <laughs> fine. Yeah. And it's it's totally uh, like people need to uh there's another thing kind of happening right now. I've like watched the Alex Morgan kind of like try to get back after having a baby and that's like uh, of course super hard and she's made sort of like, you know, statements being like, you know, I'm still not ready yet uh and uh, I think that's best i'm like getting fitter and faster like Mm -hmm. every day it's like definitely a a, like preventive health measure to make sure that you are fit enough to go out on the soccer Mm -hmm. field because they're playing at the highest level and being like physically fit is a huge part of like injury prevention and you know being able to like um perform on the field but right and as soon as someone sees alex morgan out there they're gonna come for her ass yeah Mm -hmm. you know (laughs) like the other team target for sure for sure yeah she wants to be yeah and i think fit means game fit like able to yeah Mm -hmm. i I don't think it has anything to do with weight or like anything like that but yeah just get your fitness level up obviously there also is like so much more to being in shape as a professional athlete at, compared to like what I consider being in shape and like being able to make it down the street without dying. Like <laughs> obviously it's like a different situation, Yeah, but it just seems like there's, there needs to be an understanding that body types are different regardless of. Yes. Yeah. Uh, fitness yeah, level. for sure. Exactly. <clears throat> for sure. hundred percent. Um, yeah. And I think the last thing we wanted to touch on before we get into like WNBA stats, because we are in the thick of playoffs is uh, Megan Rapino also wrote a really awesome article on um, for the players tribune, which. So we'll get to that. I didn't, when I was looking that up, I didn't realize that she had, she's written a bunch of articles for the players. Tribune. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> That's really cool. The players, is great the players tribune is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. And if yeah, anybody and this, hasn't watched it, go to the Players Tribune. Just Google the Players Tribune, the T conversations yeah. or like whatever it is. I think it's on Facebook. Is. They put it on YouTube recently. Oh, did they? said it's on, nice. on YouTube. Yeah. 
Nice. Yeah. yeah. That's like what initially we talked about this, like in our early episodes, mm-hmm. I think that's like what sparked us wanting to do this and yes. like pay attention to um, women's sports was totally. specifically that web series. So mm-hmm. definitely worth a listen if you haven't yeah, for listened sure. to it yet. Yes. Um, it's just a few different um, female athletes from different sports talking about their experiences. Um, yeah. And they talk and about will, body image and, and yeah. uh, it's like all amazing stuff. It will enrage you also. <laughs> so. yeah. Enrage and inspire <laughs> and make you want to support yeah. women. Yeah. Yeah. But this article, yeah. I read so, it at like 3 a.m. So someone else take the lead. <laughs> well, so it's kind of like, I would say that it's kind of like a article paired with um, a similar article that Sue Bird wrote last year for the okay. Players Tribune while at the World Cup. And it was titled something like, so the president really hates my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. And it was just like, kind of about like, what a badass Megan is. And Mm -hmm. they were like on the road to like winning the World Cup. So I think this is kind of like Megan watching Sue in the WNBA finals and the playoffs and just kind of like giving her perspective. Um, And she talks about like funny stuff like her wobble drip awards and like, uh, who, you know, where's the best clothes? I don't know. She's just really funny. And the article's great, and you should definitely go look it up. But there was a one thing in particular that she called out that I just wanted to share. Um, she was talking about how how much support, like, the U.S. women's national team, the soccer team, has gotten in the last couple of years, and how great it's been, and how, um, like, they've really appreciated the support and everything like that. And she Here's the quote. I just want to read it because I want to get it right. Um, And just that she appreciates, uh, where am I? Okay. Okay. And I guess I just have to wonder when I see the millions of viewers we're getting and the shine on Sports Center and the talk show appearances and the endorsement deals and all of that, where's the same energy for the best women's basketball players on the planet? Where's that energy for the women's sports that instead of scanning cute and white and straight, scan tall and black and queer where's that conversation um yeah and then she kind of goes on to say like i see a lot she says like i see a lot of posts on the internet like posting the black square talking about wanting to support black women and she's like that's great that's wonderful but how is it that when the w is on tv when this dope ass league featuring some of the most talented black women in the world has games on tv i never hear a word from those same people why is it that the support black women crowd always goes silent when there's an actual opportunity to support black women hell yes which i thought was really was really cool because obviously like <clears throat> she has like you know her girlfriends in the league but you know, it's not just about supporting women. It's about supporting, you know, intersectionality is so important. Like it's about supporting these black women. And I like that she kind of calls out like the, like the media even of like, you support our largely white, like soccer team. Like Mm -hmm. where's the love for on sports center? Where's the love on the talk shows for like, the WNBA. Yeah. Especially like, when the WNBA has, like, been putting in the work for seasons and seasons. So With, like, long. social justice and also at the same time being the best athletes in their yeah. sport in the and world. Honestly, watching the WNBA, how they've dedicated their season to Breonna Taylor to say their name, say her and name, voting. I'm sorry, and voting and political activism, like, it really illuminated for me how the – I love soccer, but how the NWSL players fall so much shorter Mm -hmm. and in the same sort of activism and thoughtfulness that the WNBA has. And I'd like to see them kind of work on that because it is largely white. Soccer is really white and they need to like step up and support their black teammates, you know? Yeah. And also I feel like when the media did pick up, it wasn't, Uh, about the WNBA it was about the NBA and how they were doing it but the WNBA had been doing it for like a month beforehand I feel yeah and it was just well the the WNBA WNBA has been doing it for years years but like in this season and specifically like the 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 say her name and and, Mm -hmm. and focusing on that this season I feel like they they picked up on it the NBA right away but the Mm -hmm. WNBA 
was right. not as quickly noticed. Yeah, it's like not even only about it's supporting black women, but it's also like acknowledging that the WNBA players have been the trailblazers like we've mentioned on every right. podcast so far trailblazers in activism work and they always they seem to always be leading the way and and doing mm-hmm. what's right long before the world yeah. and other other like people are on board right and they're doing this unpaid emotional labor yep and and what they're doing is like begging people to see their humanity. And they're like, I don't have to do that when I go to work. Yeah. Like at the end of the day, like basketball is their work. Like that's their job. I don't have to do that when I go to work. You know, like. They are doing this in addition to. Right. Like, they're, I was listening to, you know, one of the podcasts and they're saying like, they're on Zooms all the time. They are deciding as a, as a collective, like what you know, message they're going to center today, mm-hmm. what, how they're going to address it, what they're going to wear, how they're going to address, you know, the, the racist comments from Kelly Leffler. Uh, you know, we mentioned this on one of the other podcasts yeah. when she, you know, came out as like not supporting Black Lives Matter, whatever. They didn't go for the jugular. They said uh, they, they collectively like together were like, no, she wants, she wants us to, you know, try and kick her out of the league. And they instead organized and came up with like a campaign a successful like little campaign message Mm -hmm. for warnock who was running against running against her and like it raised a bunch of money for him it's just like they are leaders in this and always have been Mm -hmm. and it's so amazing to see how they like get on board like Mm -hmm. they they have to have buy-in from everybody to do the stuff that they've been doing and they have it Mm -hmm. like when jacob Blake was shot by police and the WNBA decided to not play their games that night. Mm -hmm. They were having conversations and a lot of players still wanted to play and they were like, okay, they went back into their locker rooms and the Washington mystics, they were like, I can't play. Like a lot of the players on that team were like, I'm not playing and I can't play. And they went back out and they all talked again and there were still some people who were like, I want to play, but it was more important that they show solidarity and that they support their fellow players. So they didn't play. Makes me want to cry. Yeah. That's like an amazing Fucking cool. act of collective action and solidarity. Mm-hmm. And you have to have everybody invested in, in that to make it successful. And to, cause if one person was like, I'm not doing that, like, there's so much more power in their unity, you know, Mm -hmm. and it's, it is very inspiring and Mm -hmm. really cool. And I just love the WNBA. I know. (laughs) I know. Yeah. That huge takeaway from Megan's article is just that like, um, it's so easy to support and, and maybe it's just, we're behind because the, the, um, U.S. women's national team didn't always have this fiery support behind them. Right. Um, So it's very, very cool that they do have that now. But it's always easier and it always comes first to support the, you know, cute, white, pretty women who are, you know, really good at what they do. And it's like, this is obvious. Yeah. Yeah. It's time to throw our support uh, to the WNBA where it's deserved. Yeah, love them. Should we uh, should we switch from their brilliant um, activism to their brilliant playing skills? <laughs> yes, <laughs> discuss please. About, discuss the uh, playoff. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, We're two games down. Two games have played been played in the finals, and what's been happening on the court, Mary Bob? Well, Seattle's been winning. That's true. <laughs> the That's main. true. Uh, they're out the two games to zero, so they've got to win one more to win the whole thing. The ship. Yep. Um, they, uh, I feel like, like, both. I don't know if it was both games. I know this last game, they started slow, right? And then all of a sudden, like, something clicks with them, and they just 
start like destroying um and it usually goes back and forth also but they get this rhythm where it's just like you can't mess it up yeah which is wild then i'm I'm talking specifically still about uh, seattle storm but um i mean las vegas has been playing great as well angel mccotry has been crushing i know uh Mm -hmm. She she got a little physical in this last game. Julia was getting mad <laughs> about it. <laughs> my girlfriend. Ugh. She was doing she was doing some some swiping. Uh, Swipe I don't remember who swiping. She, I don't know who she like. <laughs> oh, it was Jewel Lloyd, right? She caught in the eye. I don't no, know. I, was, I can't say. It? I think it was Jewel. Jewel Lloyd got hit. Super. Jewel Lloyd got hit in the eye, and then um, Super got hit in the nose. In the face. And like yeah. I'm not. I'm not. Super got headbutt. Yeah. Uh, Angel McC- or, uh, uh, It was like Jewel a Lloyd uh, got like a poke. Yeah. Oh right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But and, like, not to say she's doing it on finals. purpose. She's just taking yeah. the job seriously, oh, and she's come right. to play and be physical. Right. And it's uh, she's she's taking some people out. Yeah. <laughs> along the way. And um, I mean, she's even been though, great. Yeah. Even though Seattle has won both the games, and I think like by maybe like tenish points each time, it wasn't like they were completely annihilating them each game. Like. Mm-hmm there were each team went on runs and had you know vegas had the lead for a while in both games Mm -hmm. like a sizable lead like 10 points ish so it's it's been a very competitive series obviously like the games one don't reflect that i'm really hopeful that vegas can come out and like win the next game just to Mm -hmm. like kind of i know feel a little better about it but i feel like the seattle storm is inevitable at this point like yeah yeah and they are truly crushing and that that's like to show because like so i see this the score was 93 to 80 of of game one so they were both playing very well um but also in that game brianna stewart got 37 points and super got 16 assists jewel lloyd got 20 like they all were so for for Seattle Storm to be playing that well and then the Aces to be matching them like everybody is playing very well they're all here to win basically yeah. I think so it'll be yeah. exciting yes a uh, Brianna Stewart set a record of like like 35 points and 15 assists like or not assists uh rebounds mm-hmm. in the game Sue Bird set a WNBA finals record of 16 assists and Which was also the assist record before Courtney Vandersloot just broke it. So it's like right. she was very close to breaking the all-time assist record. And well. Sue didn't play the last like three or four minutes, so yeah. arguably she I had know. a shot at beating that right. record. And I think um, that that Brianna Stewart was was two points below the finals points record. Right. And that they, Angel McCautry yeah. set. Yeah. Or maybe yeah, she was one point from tying, two points from beating it. I think yeah. was the situation so and it's cool because i saw like on twitter before the first game that each of the teams have three first round draft picks on their on their team which was kind of cool yeah nice um they're just both teams are super talented i think it would be a little bit closer if if um yeah if las Mm. vegas wasn't dealing with some injuries like dear Hamby, that really breaks my heart because she had a awesome season i know mm-hmm. i just want to see her out there it made me so sad no she's just standing on the sidelines like she, standing yeah, with she, her crutches but great that she's like still there because yeah, i know that totally. a lot of people have had to go home yeah i'm um, so yeah, glad they sure. let her stay mm-hmm. yeah. yeah same totally yeah i completely um, agree but it's just yeah it, it is it is wild we should shout out asia wilson having a damn incredible f- couple games so far yeah yeah i th- yeah she uh, had sure. 19 19 points first game 20 points second game yeah i mean not as high as her like normal season games i think they're kind of they know they kind of have to shut her down to win yeah yeah um but yeah she's she just has a way of making things happen um yeah, yeah. and i'm she's really a, she's good She's, she's good. good. She's she good. Deserves that. Yeah. Honestly, this just turns into like us just like being like, <laughs> she's good. I love this person. I love this person. Oh, I know. <laughs> but it's fully, true. Uh, everyone on both teams. Yeah. They're good. They're, so, they're good. They're, they're so good. good. I just, I, I, 
I don't want the season to be over either. So I'm like, could we so go you to want five the, games? You want them to go? You want could it? We go to five? That would be exciting anyway. Yeah. I remember you saying that I about love an the, exciting ending. Yeah. I remember saying that about the NWSL f- at final game. I wanted them to go into overtime. Mm hmm. <laughs> Because I just wanted to, yeah, I, I, I very much am going to be rooting for Aces this coming game, but I think I am rooting. Well, I honestly wouldn't care if they ended up winning the full thing. Same. But I think I am, like, in my heart, I find I am rooting for Seattle. Well, and about Seattle, too, I love a good, like, comeback story. Like, yeah. Brianna Stewart coming back from injury, Sue Bird coming back from injury, yeah. missing all of last season. For them to be able to kind of like come back and win would be super cool. Did we also mention? I think this happened after our, we last recorded that Sammy Whitcomb left the bubble, so they're oh, playing yeah. without her because she's got to go have her, be there for her child being born. <laughs> Sammy's <laughs> to gonna go be a mother. Fly to Australia real quick. Yeah, but she could be already. Her. I don't know. I don't know her. <laughs> I don't know if that child was born, but <laughs> yeah. I did some light uh, Instagram stalking and like (laughs) a couple weeks ago she like her wife posted like seven more weeks. Oh, so so Katie Katie knows that Katie's Katie's got the due date down. Oh yeah. Well, I don't know. I just know that like seven weeks haven't passed since that post. Yeah. Um, (laughs) But you know what? You never know what could happen, and I think sometimes you don't mess around. Babies come early. Sometimes. And it's not just it's not just a matter of like going from the office to the hospital. It's a matter of going from. Fly a different from Florida country. to Australia. And, <laughs> exactly. and the, Honey's got a quarantine when she gets to Australia. Yeah. Exactly. I bet you that is part of it. So That's got to be. Yeah. Things are just crazy, and we we do support her, we want to say. You know what? She's good, though. She's good. She's good. I'm She's happy good. for her. She's good, and um, her baby's probably good. Her baby's good. Pro- ba- I bet you her, ba- her, baby's her, baby's her baby's good. That baby's good. Her baby's good. Her baby's good. Her baby's good. Mm. Does her wife play? basketball i know nothing about her i think she's just (laughs) a peasant human she's She's just a um what is it called i guess peasants or but it's not Um, the word i was commoner Um, yes no commoner thank you julia she's just a commoner she's a civilian um (sighs) yes but anyway watch the wnba whatever i bet she's good at whatever she does yeah, I mean, you gotta. I don't know what her career is, but I bet she's good at it. I bet she's good. I that's just always worried that somebody's gonna listen to this and like tell the person that <laughs> you're talking 100% right. A little bit of shit. I'm gonna like find her wife she's and I'm gonna tell good. her that you don't like her. I never, I was the only They said, she said I was a commoner. Absolutely oh, fucking civilian. cancel this podcast. I'm a civilian. Yeah. That's the word I was looking for. Civilian. Civilian. That's what I said. Sure. Oh, that's yeah. the word I was looking for. So I must have oh. just completely ignored you. That's you my bad. Seems yeah. right. <laughs> um, should we get into the? Uh, they named the all uh, all WNBA first team, all WNBA, and second team all WNBA. Yeah. Tell me who they are in the style of like Moulin Rouge, like Christina pink <laughs> announce them in that oh. way. Please. <laughs> Wait, I don't know that. Like Lady now. Marmalade. Like <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, Moulin Rouge. I, I, yeah, lady. I didn't hear Rouge. I just heard Moulin. <laughs> I was like, 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 to defeat <laughs> the Huns. Let's get down to business. Yeah. Oh, first is Asia Wilson. Out of you. So yeah. do, you, do you first team in the style of Moulin? Yeah, 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 yeah. In yeah, the yeah. style of Lady Marmalade. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, well, I'm just going to say it my here. way. <laughs> okay, just read them. It's fine. We've got first team uh, consists of Asia Wilson from the Las Vegas Aces, Candace Parker from LA Sparks, Brianna Stewart from Seattle Storm, Courtney Vandersloot, Chicago Chicago Sky, Sky. Sky. Arike Agumbawale, Arike Dallas Wings, Dallas Wings. Love her. Huge fan of her work. We do feel good about this. Okay, before we talk about that, let's say what second team is. Second team is Diana Taurasi of Phoenix Mercury. I'm going to need help on these ones probably. Dewana Bonner, a, uh, a Connecticut Sun. Yes. Fisa Collier, Mo- Minnesota. Minnesota. Lakes. Lucky Lakes. <laughs> 
<laughs> Minnesota and Milwaukee are the same to me. Yeah, they're the same city. They're they're the same. The same they're city. The same city. They're, they're the same. They're the same. They're the same township. Minnesota city. Skyler Diggin Smith, my favorite. L.A. Sparks. No, Just kidding. Don't tell me. Um. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. And that would be the Phoenix Mercury. <laughs> Nice. Good job. And then Maisha Hines Allen. I'm sorry you to gotta her. Katie's going to have to do this one. You've got to know this. Maisha I am sorry Hines to this Allen. woman. Sorry Washington this Mystics, one. baby. Oh, I oh. know no one from Washington Mystics. Yes, you do. You do. You do. Oh. There was like, the, so the, ga- the game. Leilani Mitchell, Emma Meesman. Meesman, I, I do yeah. remember. Ariel I think that, Powell. like, the Mystics yeah, and, like, I like her. Ariel Atkins. And, like, okay. the Fever and New York, all of those teams always played on the, like, they were always every other day. And that was, those were always the days, like, I couldn't watch. So, like, the, I, I'm less familiar with those teams. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely Possibly. don't know many players on the Fever. Um, I bet you I can name, this. like, three They're players you on in each the cafeteria. Team. Okay. Except for the fever. That's a pretty good average. Except for the fever. Why? Yeah, I feel like I did really see them play the least. No, I mean, no shame. I think that you guys, like, we all were were on the same viewing schedule, and they probably played on, like, I don't know, it was, like, Tuesdays and Thursdays or something, and I could only watch on Mondays and Wednesdays. Whatever, like, it was, I was never, like, never caught their games. I saw, well, sometimes, but not enough to like learn who they were. Right. Yeah. Uh, Sorry, how do we ladies, feel about I'll these games? How about season. these teams? About the about these about these names? About these teams? Um. So basically, tell me just like so. First team and second team is basically just saying best in their positions and then second best in their positions. Is that correct? Am I understanding? Yes. Those rankings properly. Yeah. Okay. The fir- yeah the okay. five best. Of those positions and the fi- uh, the fi- second five best of those positions. Okay. So, for example, so not necessarily the top Sloot ten players. Skyler. Okay, okay, okay. So, for example, Courtney Vandersloot would be the best point guard, and Skylar Diggins Smith would be the second best point guard. I believe, yeah. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, because I mean, Sue Bird is not on there, but she was. But she didn't play very season. much. Yeah, I mean, she played yeah. like half, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 And I mean, those two deserve it all. So, oh, for sure. Really. Yeah. I was, you know, kind of surprised not to see Alyssa Thomas, who we yeah. talk about all the time with her shoulders. What is her yeah. position? I think we've discussed how I can only recognize like point guards and shooting uh, guards, and I have trouble with forwards and centers. So. Is she a center? Because I know she does a lot of D. I don't know if she's a set. She's, I don't think she's that tall right i don't know i, I just really i think. i i feel like they spent so much of of the season or like the last couple of weeks talking about her shoulders that they didn't really talk about anything else about her her torn her torn labrum I'm looking it up right now <laughs> she's a forward okay her torn labrums it's not funny it's just that one time i thought they said labia so <laughs> which would hurt which would be unfortunate yeah I've thought about that at least. Well, I'm sure today, torn so. labrums hurt also. <laughs> is the I'm thing. Sure they're but both really unpleasant. What do you think would hurt worse? I genuinely do not know. <laughs> I don't either. I want to say the shoulders. I uh, I agree because I think because you, you move like, that so much, <laughs> you can probably keep can just like labia. Like, I feel like bones <laughs> squinching together are feel worse than like flesh being torn. Right. <laughs> yeah. I don't like either. I don't want either. I don't either. Let's move <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah, because it really is. <laughs> it's not like I feel tense. <laughs> okay. Okay. We'll move on. We'll move on. One thing to say on this is they said that like Brianna Stewart, Brianna Stewart got um like there are two that were like fully unanimous votes. Asia Wilson, Asia Wilson and Candace Parker. And Candace Parker, and uh, Stewie. Like, there was one person who was, you know, uh, whoever votes on this stuff. There was one person who did not vote her in for, like, uh, first or second first team. team. Yeah. Oh, first team. Which is genuinely, like, crazy to me. Rude. She's so good. 
She's like, so good. I don't know what this person is thinking. Well, whatever. Um, but yeah. Other than that, I'm I'm happy to see who I see. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's so many great players. I know that. I mean, all of these names, all these people, I was like, I loved watching all of those players. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. So, heck, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Um, anything else for, I mean, I just want to shout out for people who can see it that the um, Megan Rapinoe's picks for Wubble Drip, um, which, I mean, if you don't, aren't familiar with that saying it's who has the best drip who has the best clothes who has the best swag if you will swag. the best Sneakies. style style baby style. um and her top picks were okay we've got diamond to shields right here arika arike agumba wale right here so nice job on making um really making a name for herself both playing and um styling and dripping yeah. Susie Bird right here. Do you think she's pissed wolf, that you just called her Susie? Wolf shirt. I like calling her Susie and I'm not going to apologize for it. <laughs> um, Courtney Williams right here, which I'm obsessed with whatever those shorts are. Um, and then Taya Cooper. Right, yeah. right there. Amaze. Amazing Amaze. all around. Everyone seems very cool based on their outfits. Very notable styles, yeah. Oh, and the last thing I was going to say on the Rapino article is like, it really kind of made me be like, maybe I do sort of understand why she's there in the wobble instead of... Is it to report on style? Is that what oh. <laughs> It does seem like that's what I was going to say. Yeah. yeah, and it is to watch and make sure that uh, Sue Bird's uh, you know, clothing is up to par. I see. That's well, she did a good job because Sue looked very cool throughout. Yeah. yeah. We should say Pino's drip is not so shabby herself. <laughs> yeah, she wears more babushkas than I would like <laughs> what is personally going on there? wear. What she's got to keep all, all, of, all of the grown up. You know, <laughs> I think she said, like, is it cold? sometimes she knows that it is cold. It is sometimes cold she in knows there. Remember that Remember Holly told us. Yeah. Sometimes she knows that it's going to be on TV, the game, <laughs> and she doesn't feel like doing her hair. Oh my god, so instead of wearing a hat, she wears this full, <laughs> <It's> full skirt. <laughs> it is very funny. I saw that last game and I was like, what? <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah, oh, it's very funny. She makes some choices. Yeah. Oh, you know what I god, love about her though do. is that she commits to yeah. the choice. Do you remember yeah. that she cool, bleached her eyebrows? Are. No. Oh, oh no, <laughs> but LOL. <laughs> uh, it was like I think after the 2015 World Cup, maybe. Yeah, she told, and it was like, not a good look. No flips. Love you to death, mm. girl. That's very funny. <laughs> um, but speaking of Pino and, you know. Soccer. Sa sa soccer. Football. Soccer. Mamma um, mia. We've got an NWSL and beyond update. Uh, we've been watching. It's been good. Yeah, it's been fun. It has been good. It's they really still are having hydration breaks, even though it's swiftly into fall. You know so I, I read a... why it's a COVID thing. I read oh. why they're doing it. Okay. So do they go and have COVID. the COVID sucked out of them at all the hydration breaks? <laughs> no, <laughs> their but water they, bottles are reverse. <laughs> they can't share water bottles, so they take the break so that everyone has an individual water bottle okay. and can hydrate. Cause normally you just like pick up a water bottle on the sideline and like squirt it in your oh, mouth. Oh, cause you, especially the defenders can just kind of like pop. Yeah. But they're not doing that. Okay. So, Interessante. Yeah. <laughs> I think they should carry belts with little waters around. You know what? I used to have Camel a fanny backs. pack specifically. Yeah, yeah. I used to have a fanny pack specifically for carrying a water bottle when I was roughly age nine. And, uh, okay. That That's is a choice. If ever, you visit right. my Twitter profile photo, you can see it in action. Um, and uh, I suggest they all play with those on. <laughs> I'm going Honestly, to it. I'm yeah, it. I think that, that totally makes sense. Um, Shmary Schmeth. There she is. Oh, oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> That's a look. That is such up. a 
It is I, right honestly, in the crotch area. I uh, feel like <laughs> I, it's this pretty drip. Trendy. This, this is drip. Trendy. That is what we call wobble drip. That's oh, what we call sure you Disney have your, World your Disney, Disney, Disney World autograph drip. book with you. As yep. Oh my God, that's amazing. <laughs> the sunglasses. Honestly, I would wear that outfit today. It's very cute. I, I would really too. Like I would shirt. definitely wear that shirt. One and thing that I think is important to know is it's not a stripe. It's the strap from the fanny pack. I recently realized that after seeing that. Because I was like, what was this black stripe on these these shorts? Uh, and it's uh, not a stripe at all. That would have been so Whose cool. Whose hand is this? My mother. I bet Laura's in that stroller. She's saying, let me take your, let me say, let me take the um, uh, sign book, autograph book from you. And you said, it's going I in the picture, um, baby. This needs to be in the photo. I think in the full photo, she just has her hand casually. Oh, oh, oh! And this is like baby Twitter Laura. Craft. Yeah. Um, I just seemed so in on me because I'm important. You are. You're the most important. Tell everyone. Tell the world. I'm gonna tweet about it. <laughs> oh, I love it. <sighs> anyway, anyway, that's a suggestion for <laughs> future games. Okay, so I'm glad to know sure that. Thank you, Katie, for that update. Um, the You're welcome. Hydration update. Hydration break. Hydration, hydration break. break. Um, oh, but, we had some good games. What, yeah, some great games. I found game. myself um, as we have discussed. I don't. I keep not having a favorite team, but I find myself favoring Portland in this series. Not just because they're winning, which I don't even know if they're winning anymore because they recently tied, but they just play together so well, mm-hmm. and their games are exciting. But also. Houston has been insane. Houston is proving their Challenge Cup win. They're Granted, winning. there are a lot yep. of people abroad. These teams are like different yeah, and whatnot. I truly feel like Houston it's like looks- a different team. Um, the way they play, even though. Houston? Yeah. Oh, I feel like we've they're discussed this. They good play in like the a, Challenge Cup. Well, no, they were absolutely good before, oh, but I feel but like they're like, like they're stu- like, like yeah. It just seems like it, it, it's different this time around as far as got rid of Rachel style Day. of play. Well, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, I do think that they relied a lot on her. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's kind of, it's been interesting to see yeah. them like do different things without her. Yes. Because yep. they have, they have to. Um, oh, they've yeah, been playing they so been well. Really fun to watch. We and, have, and we, we talk discussed about, there's a lot less of, of, people getting thrown to the ground in this series oh. than in the last series also, mm-hmm. uh, which I've noticed. And I don't know if that's a non-purpose choice or like, and it was just like, they hadn't played in a long time. I just think the stakes and, are lower too. Yeah. Oh, totally. you know, it's not, Maybe. yeah, it's not for like a title or it's just for yeah, like, yeah. you know, bragging rights just, really. It feels different. That's a good point. Yeah. But I, I really want to talk about one of the shining bright spots of the fall series, in my opinion. Let's hear it. On the Houston Dash, our girl, Christy Mewis. Oh, she good. She She's good. good. She's she good. has been playing so well. This last game, would she have like three assists and a goal? There, yeah, there were yeah, four goals. Uh, there were four, four goals. Four goals. <laughs> yeah. She assisted three of them and she scored the fourth. Yeah. Oh my God. Her yeah. talent is as high as her hair. <laughs> And her hair was a little bit lower this last game. Says, she did lower it a little bit. That one game, though, really, it did make me laugh. I love it. I just someday I want just straight ponytail, straight up, not <laughs> even a bun. It's like a beehive <laughs> on the head. Um, I love it. Wild. Um, and in this last game, the four to one game, they played uh, North Carolina Courage, who was like the favorite in yeah. the. Um, you know, everybody was surprised that they didn't win they the Challenge out. Cup, and like Houston handled them. I mean, like truly dominated and again they have players missing blah 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 but but still this but is even your team so, and that's yeah. your team and yeah. yeah they took them out totally Lynn williams did get a goal that's not yes. Yes. and love that for yeah. her um love that journey for abby doll yeah. kemper we're back on good terms <laughs> 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 me and my crush i mean i had to like let go of her for a little bit there uh on instagram you know in the thick of like july or august she posted some like promoted post or like ad post 
with like her with like an American flag like promoting massage. What was the and product? Being, oh yeah, it was mas- it was very funny because the 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 actual ad didn't make sense, and everyone in the comments was like, "What? It, why is this about massages?" Um, it was like America, the best country in the world. I love the red, the white, and the blue <laughs> and massages. <laughs> and, yeah, like uh, get a massage like, at Massage Envy. It was just it was like, a weird in the choice midst of, based like, on the political and, crime, yeah. climate. Yeah. And and it's I a weird commented, choice, any LOL. day, girl. You could take this down always. You said <laughs> that? Always, yeah, yeah. And I think she took it down. She heard she you. I think to it was you. pretty close to after me commenting that. Honestly, I feel like it's really important to hear feedback and take it. Yeah. And, you know, it sounds like she did that. She heard and your I'm feedback. And I'm back to crushing. She took it. Yeah. Exactly. And, and she, does, like, she does often post th- things that yes. are like socially aware so exactly. i think that it was just a, a misstep yeah uh, and it really truly like it made me laugh a little because it didn't make any sense mm-hmm. <laughs> it was very and out of left field this whole campaign this whole like massage envy i don't even know if it's massage envy but it's something massage it's type. something massage and like the whole thing is like uh the tagline is like self-care isn't selfish which i think that inherently is like a good like message Mm -hmm. um but yes you are so correct she's been redeeming herself with like a lot of like social justice (laughs) awareness posts but (laughs) it was funny and uh close call there for the two of us close call ever yeah Um, we actually saw her play in person remember jules uh yeah oh well twice we've seen her play in person i'm talking about when we saw sky blue though sky blue oh yeah oh my god that's right because they played carolina Carolina yeah and then we saw the u.s women's national team that was the last thing i did before that's when we all got covid that's yeah. like, okay but how did you get covid but i didn't i don't think that's when i got it okay. i think i because a few days later actually no it was it the week before been. i can you did go and get those um tam- they weren't tamales what were they you think it, was it could that? just be like no no, no 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 sitting by you, somebody and you remember i, I was like Remember, yeah. I was like, I want to see. You wanted to see the kickoff, and I, wanted, I was like, yes. but I'm hungry as fuck. <laughs> and I was like, then you go get the food. I'm gonna sit here. Julia got and I brought COVID from a tamale stand. <laughs> it wasn't tamales though. What was oh it? Um, empanadas. Empanadas. Yeah, Empana- so oh, that's good. better. That's they were funnier. Good. Shout out to Red Bull <laughs> Stadium. That's comedy. Julia got COVID from an empanada stand. I that was no. So I'm fun. not saying that. I just want to be clear. Clear. <laughs> but I'm just saying I did that have she interacts a bunch more people. More with more people. I, yeah. Yes. I and that was like March. Anyway, eight. I didn't know you guys saw. I know you no. saw the Sky Blue yeah. game. I didn't know you saw the national yeah. team. Yeah. I probably yeah, did like react on. I probably re- reacted Blue's on uh, Instagram oh. as jealous as I always do of your it entire life. It was very cool. Have. It was jealous worthy. I remember yeah. being very um, far away. Well, <laughs> I was like, we got them cheap seats. We got them cheap seats. Yeah, we were far away. I remember being like very tired that day as if I had like run, like run a long run that morning, but I was not but running. You probably you, you had like a rehearsal and then you had to like book oh. your ass down to the path train. Remember? Rehearsal. Because right. we... Yes, because I was injured, though. I was injured. You were injured. injured. You were. My back. Oh, my yes. God. It's all coming, all coming back, back to all me coming now. Back. Uh-huh. Coming. That was my first Listen. time First time on the PATH train for all the listeners. It's a, into New Jersey, baby. And what were your thoughts? You made it. My thoughts were, this feels the same as the subway. It's a train. Yep. It's a train. <laughs> it's a little, um, it was a little bit cleaner. It was like cleaner. Newer. But do you remember that we saw a lady selling churros and we wanted to get the churros, but we were like, we had, we like heard, like we knew a little bit about Corona. So we were like, let's not get the churros. Do you remember that? Vaguely. Well, I definitely, definitely remember wanting the churros. Snacks fans, you maybe got coronavirus from. I definitely do remember maybe the churros. Here. <laughs> and someone else on the train got the churros and i regretted it well i was like yeah. we should have just gotten the i wanted them churros. so bad yeah Look, they were like massive is- mm-hmm. i always want to get those and i do also remember because like people were they were like losing they were like losing business because of it or something or people yes. were being like i was worried about buy, that or like yep. cracking down on uh yes these, like, they were little- Churl ladies. I'm really happy. I feel like I was there now. I'm really happy to know. I, <laughs> I wish you were. Like Next time. The, I am yeah. so sorry. Next I hate when people do this. Going together. Okay. Yeah. 
No, I I'm really getting a visual of the day, and I'm you had a lot of snacks that seemed delicious. You maybe got coronavirus, mm-hmm. and you were far away. And I picture the Harry Potter Quidditch cup that high up when you say. <laughs> Pretty much, uh, that, there were not many rows that, yeah. behind us. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, sounds fun. Glad you glad you got to see it before it the fun. world ended. You know what? Once uh, things get back to the new normal, I would like to go see a game in every stadium. We could easily scoot over to Chicago. Yeah, we totally should. Pop a train and pop uh, on Yes, I, I would love to I that. love that goal so much. And uh, once Louisville gets started, that's not far away. No, and then LA, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. <laughs> You're right, we can go. It's a quick... Uh, Pl- two day plane, drive. planes are very cheap too <laughs> they are right I'm now just yeah. saying they, it's they just a matter nothing. of getting around well yeah it's an idea for everyone a everyone's here everyone's here for our plans i think and they're prepared for us to make the voyage and and honestly it. any listeners who want to get into uh the nwsl are welcome to join us on our journey well, um, yeah. to join i can't us. wait now that i know there's so many treats <laughs> so oh, many treats that's really the center of our our that's what it's all about journeys. baby yeah yep um i agree with that that's like a freaking tokyo if by that. journey you mean entire life then you're correct that is yeah. the center of my journey <laughs> i know i'm already thinking about what i'm gonna have after this <laughs> <laughs> i need to have dinner <laughs> mm, yeah yeah uh, yeah it's like a late lunch Ugh. so i don't know if that was like if I'm gonna have a dinner or a snack, I'm still deciding. I've been doing a little a little grazing today. Had some food here and there. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. Well, food is good. Um. Okay. Well, you know. Um. The last thing I'll say is Ma- Alex Morgan still hasn't played uh, abroad, and so uh, we don't have anything there. to report there. Yeah. We'll get there. We did. We did see um someone. One of us got up at 7 a.m. to watch Manchester United and whatever. <laughs> and, that, and that was I, me. I, I was us, rewarded. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah. Two of I us was, had probably just gone to sleep. <laughs> oh, truly. Yeah. I was Mary rewarded. Mary Beth and I were like though. at 3.30 like, uh, okay, all right, wrapping up my night. Um, <laughs> yeah, probably not going to be able to catch this 7.30 game. <laughs> wake up at 7.30. <laughs> Didn't even set an alarm. I told you, though. I told you it wasn't worth it. And (laughs) I also then later said I would do it again. Um, (laughs) But Kristen Press and Tobin Heath both made made their debuts for Manchester United. And I did watch Rose Lavelle and Sam Mewis play for Manchester City. And we saw them all. Yeah. And I... I'm still tired from that decision. Uh, <laughs> paying for it. I'm 7:30 sorry. 7.30 on a... It was Saturday, too, huh? Sunday. It was Sunday. Sunday? Either way. And it it's wasn't 7.30. It was 7, which I don't is even worse. Know. It was a 7 a.m. game. Yeah. I don't even well, wake up that early on work days. <laughs> I do, right. but I don't like it. <laughs> no. I can't, I can't wake up anymore, actually, is what I've found. Uh, yeah, it's not worth getting into. I know no, we've I talked we about sleep so many times. We'll talk about it later at 3 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you guys will be texting each other. Mm-hmm. You'll be texting our group it. chat, and yeah. I'll just be asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I do, I will say, I do love to wake up from, from like, 30 texts from you guys talking about God just knows what. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, this is nice. I'm glad they and you, me. And we take you for on your word on, on that. Yeah, because we have we have before switched early on to just talking in our own private text, but then you mm-hmm. said you liked it, so I do. Yeah. yeah, I just switch it to whatever night mode or whatever. Yeah, and I don't get yep. them till the morning. That do not disturb. D and D, D and D, baby. Oh yeah, that's what it's called. I'm a big fan. I put it on even during like a mid afternoon nap. <laughs> do oh, not disturb. Same. Me. That's smart. That is. If smart. there's a chance for me to sleep, my phone goes on. Do not disturb because that I is, will get pissed. That is genius. Genius. But this has been fun, you guys. Yeah, yeah it's so nice to it. catch we up on sports. And <laughs> <laughs> so um, nice. Oh, nice to catch up on sports. I hope that we have more than one game left in the WNBA playoffs. But either way, I'll see you guys tomorrow in the group chat. <laughs> I'll see yeah. you guys tomorrow in the Wubble. In the, in the Wubble. <laughs> I would love to go to the Wubble. Can you imagine? Can Man. you imagine? It just seems like 
vacation. To do it and not have to play seems like a good vacation. Yeah. Bradenton. <laughs> to do it and not have to work. <laughs> I'll hit the Bradenton Tiki Bar and watch on that. With Holly Rowe. Yeah. <laughs> Holly Rowe. Um, Holly Rowe. So much. Oh, oh my remember God. Remember that... on that football game from 2002? What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Remember Mary Beth said she was watching like an Iowa football game and how from like her, yeah from like 2002 reporting. Iowa versus Penn State. I don't know why I was watching old fo- football games like that's just where I am as far as like pandemic goes. But <laughs> oh <laughs> it my was god, like, that is so funny! One yeah. that you were watching that she looks and- exactly the same. Oh, I love that. Well, I, that episode, so it was the episode um, on Stewie's World, the podcast where she was interviewing. I mean, we, I, we mentioned this episode briefly, but it was with um, Holly Rowe and uh, Doris, Burke. Her name? Doris Burke. And it, they were getting into like both of their pasts and Holly Rowe just like basically made a career for herself as a like reporting journalist whatever um for women's sports and it was just freaking like she's inspiring cool. to hear yeah. her story she's good she's good she's, she's good, good but apparently a crazy driver well oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. oh my god their relationship was so cute i didn't know they were like good friends i know like, it's awesome yeah. it's so cute so cute love it huge fan <laughs> All right, guys. Well, let's uh, wrap it up for today. And uh, everybody listening and or watching, we thank you from the very bottom of our hearts on this October night. (laughs) You know, and in the meantime, everybody, stay active. Sexually. Stay focused. (laughs) Sexually active. Also sexually. And a little word from She's Good. And remember, Stay. she's good. <laughs> and, and always remember, she's good. She's Sorry, good. I had to complete my thought. Good. No, I'm glad that you did. She's good. She's good.